So as a follow up to my last video, I'm going to be revisiting bit rates because there is quite a lot that I've discovered since the last tests that I did. So last time we learned that we didn't really need a very high bit rate if we're just recording ourselves because recording ourselves on our screen isn't very demanding and doesn't really need to be super detailed. But this time around, we're going to be recording 60 frames per second gameplay. So we're upping the frame rate from 30 that we were at before. And that rate there just doubled the amount of work that our computer is going to have to do. And that's without considering the fact that because of how much detail there is and how much motion there is in typical gameplay, we're gonna have to up our bit rate for that as well. And on top of that, just playing the game itself is taking up a lot of our computer's resources. So this is quite a demanding task for your computer. So keep that in mind if you are having performance issues. But with that all out of the way, let's just get into this. So I did this test at 1080p as well, but first of all, we're gonna look at the 1440p results. I recorded one minute of Heaven Benchmark at six different bit rates, and we're gonna be looking at the differences between those here. I also went ahead and put the file size per minute above the bit rates. So looking at the comparison here between the three lowest bit rates, 10,000 kilobits per second is without a doubt the minimum option you should be using to record your gameplay because even though 5,000 kilobits per second is still totally fine when it comes to streaming it's not it just doesn't cut it when it comes to recording so we zoom in here and you can see those fine details in the wood and the rope at 10,000 kilobits per second but it's almost completely lost in the 5,000 kilobit recording and the 2,500 kilobit recording just barely shows any fine detail at all. So it's no good whatsoever. Now we can get an even clearer picture if we up the bitrate to 25,000 as you can see here. And depending on how much YouTube compresses this video, you might be able to make out that those tiny cracks in the floorboard are just a little bit sharper at 50,000 kilobits per second. Maybe not with this test. So I've got another one here that should highlight the differences between these bit rates a little bit better. So zoomed in four times, we can see nothing at all on the 2500 kilobits per second recording. And the 5000 kilobit video struggles to do the same as well. But we can see that at 10,000 kilobits per second, some detail is starting to emerge. But pay attention to this area right here. Notice how the detail comes in completely once we up the bit rate to 25,000. And this time I also included 100,000 kilobits per second here. But this video that you're watching on YouTube right now, I only rendered at 50,000 kilobits per second before I uploaded it, which is only half of that. So I actually have to zoom in this much to even be able to show you any differences. And that's if they even appear on YouTube once YouTube compresses this video because these differences are incredibly minute. They are there. I can see on my end a little bit that the 100,000 the 100,000 kilobits per second video is just slightly slightly sharper, slightly clearer actually. And if we zoom in at 8 times you might be able to see it on the YouTube video. But pay attention to this area right here. This area is noticeably sharper for me when I look at it. And just for fun, I inserted a screenshot at 1440p here to compare it against the 100,000 kilobits per second, just to see if we can actually see a difference, because why, why the hell not? The screenshot does look a little bit sharper and the colors do pop a little bit more, but let me know if you can see a difference or not. As for the 1080p tests, they all appeared the exact same, so I'll just show you this little area right here. Being a lower resolution, it does blur things a little bit more. So I'll show you the low bit rate tests at 1080p. And now I'll show you the same bit rates, but at 1440p. Now I'll go back to 1080p, but with the higher bit rates. So again, pay attention to this area right here, because this is going to be the most noticeable change in sharpness once I now switch to the same bit rates at 1440p. So you be the judge. What bit rate do you think is the best for recording? Do you think a file size that grows at 728 megabytes per second is really worth it for that crisp, crisp quality of 100,000 kilobits per second? Or does it even matter because it's not going to matter when it hits YouTube? I guess we'll find out. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care everybody.